I'm gonna have 120 grams of sugar, 1 8 teaspoon of baking powder. So this 1 8 teaspoon of nutmeg. I'm gonna to mix together because I want it to be evenly distributed. So I'm just gonna mix that together. Remember what I have there is 120 grams of caster sugar, 300 grams of plain flour, or all pop with flour, 1 8 teaspoon, 1 8 teaspoon of uh, baking powder and one teaspoon of um, nutmeg, grated nutmeg. So fantastic, brilliant. I'm quite satisfied with the mixture there. So what I'm going to add now, I'm going to create a well here and I'm going to add one whole egg in the middle like that. And also you should just add your 85 grams of margarine. The evaporation, that carnation milk, we use it a lot in Nigeria. So I'm going to be using 70 ml of that. So that's the measurement I'm going to pour in there. 70 ml or 70 grams of that goes in there. Brilliant. Slowly you start from the middle. Keep mixing the egg and you know, whisk it with your hands. Make sure your hands are very clean when you do this. Wash them and keep your nails very tidy. Um, and you just mix, you know, mix them together. And you see the final result shortly. We're going to add one tablespoon of water, not teaspoon, the tablespoon. Right, so this is what it looks like at the end, so I'm going to set this aside. Thanks for watching. Alright, so what we want to do, you want to set up your, put your pan on your hob or your cooker, anything you're using at home, and we're going to pour our oil in there. So you, you can use um, the granite oil, vegetable oil, sunflower oil, any oil kind of oil you want to use. So I'm going to pour that there a little bit more because you don't want your oil be, to be too low and you don't want it to be too much. So I'm just going to pour that. Make sure your oil gets to half of the pot and that is exactly what we want. Fantastic. And when you're frying, it's important to tell you that you don't want to congest the oil with too much of your um, your cut dough or your cut chinchin. You don't want to do that. You want it to be very few and sparse. You know, in, in your when you're frying them but when we get there I'll explain that to you when we get there so what we want to do now is just to make sure you put the oil there you can do this method you can use this process while you're mixing so it's not going to take too long see you shortly thank you spread some flour here rub some flour on your rolling pin and just roll so you want to roll it as thin as possible okay now as you can see this is really thin now you you are surprised that when this gets into um, the pot into the frying pot is going to kind of uh, rise so you want to kind of cut it evenly so try and keep your hands straight as possible I'm trying to do that here very easy you cut it down that way the pizza cutter does the job for you and I guess you can actually say what's gonna happen next depending on the size you want I'm gonna cut that one more that. exactly what we're gonna fry so I would then take one part of this I'm gonna pour this into the oil and don't worry even if it sticks together because it's going to like, kind of separate itself in the oil. So two to three spoonful is all you need. Alright, this has been frying for three minutes now. So make sure your um, oil is not congested with too much uh, or um, chin chin because it's just going to soak um, so at this point you want this golden brown color so just keep stirring till you get your golden brown color and that's exactly how to make changing I've set my to three and um, it's doing a very good job which is basically frying my changing and making it look so nice and if you want to make puff puff or buns 
that is the same setting so you might want to familiarize yourself with your gas when frying you make a couple of mistakes you know but just make sure you know the kind of gas or cooker you're using and you kind of uh, you understand the setting so my setting is three and it's giving me a favorable desired result thank you for watching.